And I did say I wanted a sequel to Mega Mind for a while. Since the first one came out. And we finally got it. And it's somehow this shit. <laughs> Honestly guys, I'm just gonna make this rant as quick as possible because honestly, I just want to move on from this movie because this movie is a mistake. So yeah, I'm just gonna get this shit over with. Today I am going to review a straight to streaming sequel to a film that I actually did like. And that is Mega Mind vs. The Doom Syndicate. Yes, this is basically a straight-to-streaming sequel to Megamind that came out in 2010. A DreamWorks movie that I find pretty underrated. It's a movie that has a really good voice cast, good animation, and also a very original superhero story that I actually did enjoy. What if the villain wins? Just that concept alone. And I like that concept. And the movie did it pretty well in my personal opinion. I loved Megamind. I own it on Blu-ray. And I did say I wanted a sequel to Megamind for a while, since the first one came out. And we finally got it. And it's somehow this shit. Megamind is back. I'm kind of a big deal. And you're welcome. You're all so lucky to have me as your hero. Wow. You were threatening the city a few days ago. Now you're defending it. I want to be a crime fighter, just like you. You're adorable in a pushy sort of way. Here's a souvenir. It's either a paperweight or a flash grenade. So careful with that. From DreamWorks Animation. The Doom Syndicate. I despise them more than button-down collars. Okay. What the fuck? This straight to streaming shit. And this is basically a movie that is a pilot to the TV show that came out called... Called This, I guess. I literally don't know what the TV show is called, to be honest with you. I'm just... I'm trying to remember. But honestly, who cares? Again, I'm just gonna make this rant as simple as possible. This is a shit movie. This is a terrible animated film. DreamWorks, what are you doing? Peacock, what are you doing? This movie is a mistake. I would say the original voice cast in the first Megamind has not returned this movie. Not a single one. We get these cheap ass replicas of those actors, like the guy who played Megamind in this film is trying so hard to do a Will Ferrell impression playing Megamind and it just does not work. Most of the voice casting honestly is just kind of forgettable in this film. But just the characterization in this film, it's just not memorable. I just did not care about every single one of them. The Doom Syndicate themselves, apparently Megamind was with the Doom Syndicate when they're fighting Metro Man. Somehow that exists. That's actually meant to be in the original film. But it didn't happen. It was actually in the video game, what I heard. So now they're suddenly in this film, without any explanation. And their characters are also pretty lackluster and forgettable. Oh yeah, Minion in this film as well. He's not called Minion in this film. He's called Old Chum. Like, what the fuck? There's also like this little girl in this film that is like this blogger chick. That's like a big fan of Megamind. She started this Megamind fan club. Her character is annoying as fuck. Even the chemistry between Megamind, Roxanne, and Richie in this film is just... Eh? It wasn't a romantic chemistry that basically took after the first Megamind. They're just now kind of... Buds, I guess? It just shows that these people did not watch the first Megamind and just did not care for it. This is obviously just a pilot to the TV show of Megamind. That's why this film came out. And honestly, there's just not much effort put it into this movie. I despise this movie! <laughs> this movie made me want to do bad things! Yeah! But this movie better! Much better! It made my eyes bleed! Man. I would say kids would probably find this movie just okay, but man, the first Megamind has everything for the entire family. And this movie is just a kid's movie that just could have been... It could have been like on Nickelodeon or something. You know, like Comfy Panda Legends of Awesomeness. You know, like DreamWorks do these really cheap TV shows of every property, actually. So they decide to do it on Megamind and decide to do a movie as well. That just does not work. I would also say the animation in this film is cheap as 
fuck. Like, seriously, it reminds me of those straight-to-DVD Barbie movies. That's how shit the animation is in this movie. It looks very cheap. There's no effort put into it. You can even notice there's some animation glitches in this movie. You can tell how cheap this shit sequel is. Now, honestly, I would love to see a sequel getting rebooted for Megamind because... They can do stuff with it. I think a sequel to Mega Mind is not a bad idea. They can do stuff with it. But now they made this shit. The way it's written. Just. Just. I just want to get this over with. Honestly. I could review any other movie. But honestly. A lot of people are talking about Mega Mind vs. The Doom Syndicate. How bad this movie is. Honestly. There's nothing too much to say about, to be completely honest with you. Me is one of my favorite things in the whole wide world! <laughs> Megamind vs. The Doom Syndicate is a straight-to-streaming sequel that fails at its own hands. This ruined Megamind, in my personal opinion. This ruined Megamind and what's great about the first Megamind movie. This movie is seriously a joke. The voice casting wasn't great, the characters weren't great, the story of the film was just completely forgettable. The animation looks very, very cheap. Basically, this whole movie is cheap, and it's basically a movie that's supposed to be the pilot of the TV show that I am refusing to watch after this piece of shit. What else do I could say about Megamind vs. The Doom Syndicate, but just saying it just ruins Megamind? That, there's nothing else to say. I'm going to give easily Megamind vs. The Doom Syndicate an F. Don't see this film. I'm not even going to tell you what you think of the film. I'm going to tell you what do you think of the first Megamind because I thought it's one of the most underrated DreamWorks movies. So let me know what you think of the first Megamind movie in the comments below. Make sure you guys follow me on social media links down below. Keep contact with me and make sure you guys subscribe to my channel and notify for my latest movie reviews and other movie related content. Thank you guys so much for watching and have a nice day. <laughs>